Katerina Zavoloka turns on her favorite instrument. Here in this small studio, she creates music. Sometimes I like to play at night. I set up candles around me, light them, turn off the light, turn on the synthesizer and make various sounds. It's like it communicates on its own, it tells something. This was my very first instrument. It operates slightly differently than others. I had a lot of other ones, but this one is perfect. It's my kryptonite. Zavoloka is among the most famous Ukrainians writing and playing experimental electronic music. She performs concerts in Ukraine and across Europe. Katerina has been living in Vienna for four years. She came to Austria to study and decided to stay. She received a degree in arts. Music is her primary, but not her only interest. Katerina is also a graphic designer and creates all her album covers herself. Katerina developed an interest in music back when she was a kid. As a teenager, she listened to British guitar players and was inspired by them. When I was around 18 or 19, I learned about experimental electronic music and that it can be written. That's when I began to wonder how it's made. In 2006, Katerina founded her label Kvitnu, together with her husband, Dmitro Fedorenko. In a year, she released her first album. All of Katerina's records are dedicated to some classical element, water, air, earth and fire. Her latest album is called Promeni. All of the songs in it are personalized. Each of the songs is dedicated either to people who inspired me a lot, lit my inner fire, or to events. Her mini album Volia includes three songs dedicated to the Ukrainian Euromaidan revolution of 2013-2014. They feature sounds of the protests recorded by Katerina. When people made a rhythm on the street, drummed on burned buses with iron sticks, I recorded this rhythm and then created tracks with it. Katerina performs on European stages more often than in Ukraine. She returns to her native country for festivals and to visit her family. She says that Ukraine has changed a lot over the last few years. These changes are a lot more visible at a distance. I come six months later and it's already better. I think that Ukraine is greatly developing. For now, Katerina doesn't plan to return to Ukraine, however, she says that she still can't call Austria her home. She believes that creative people can't stay in one place for too long. Reported by Olha Volonets, Vienna, for UATV.